hello peeps so uh, today i'm going to try a mushroom gravy i have taken 200 grams of uh, button mushroom and uh, here it's a finely chopped tomato and uh, it's a finely chopped uh, large onion and uh, let's check out the masala items uh, here i have a uh, few bay leaves and one cinnamon stick uh, three elachi and one tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste uh, two green chilies half tablespoon turmeric powder half tablespoon uh, coriander seeds powder and one garam uh, one tablespoon garam masala and uh, here it is a uh, uh, cumin seeds and uh, uh, peppercorns powder i have mixed it too and uh, grind it and uh, here it is a uh, chili powder uh, you can take uh, uh, as you need uh, i have taken here just uh, one tablespoon because i don't want my mushroom to be more spicy and i have a few coriander seeds so let's get started now okay here i have taken uh, around three tablespoon of groundnut oil now i uh, am going to add uh, spicy items i have added uh, bay leaves uh, cumin seeds and uh, elachi uh, let it sizzle and uh, get a light brown color now i'm going to add uh, the chopped onions uh, we have to sort it until it gets a golden brown color So I'm giving a small tip uh, while uh, frying. I mean, uh, uh, sorting onion, you can add uh, some amount of uh, salt so that it will get cooked uh, easily and uh, fastly. So here I'm adding a pinch of salt. Just I'm stirring it occasionally. Uh, we usually get a uh, irritation feel on ice while uh, cutting onions i'm giving a small tip you can just uh, dip the onions in water and then start cutting you will not feel the irritation uh, it goes only with the shallots but i don't have no idea about large onions okay now the onion is turned into brown color so now i'm going to add all the masala items that i have taken Okay, now I have added all the masala items I have shown you before. That's how the gravy looks like. Okay, now I'm adding a few curry leaves as well. After this, I'm adding the finely chopped tomatoes. We have to sort it until the oil gets separated, then only we can ensure that it is finely cooked. Now I am adding a little amount of water. And then closing the lid and cooking it for 5 to 6 minutes. Okay, let's check out. You can see that oil got separated already and it has uh, become a consistent thing. Okay, now I am adding 200 grams of mutton, sorry, mutton mushroom. I have chopped in this way. So you can chop it in this way. It will be good. I have finally mixed it and uh, letting it to cook for uh, 5 minutes. Uh, I'm just closing it with the lid. You don't need to add water, no, uh, as some will release some water. You can add it after uh, checking it, uh, let it cook for 5 minutes. You have to take and stir occasionally and uh, please uh, cook it in a low medium, uh, no, low medium flame. Okay, now I have uh, add, added a few amount of water. I don't want my gravy to be uh, more uh, uh, watery so I just added a few water and I want it to be a gravy uh, because uh, I'm going to have it with a rasan today. 
so let it cook for five to seven minutes you can just close the lid okay my gravy is almost uh, ready so i'm giving a small uh, tidbit thing if you feel as uh, your gravy or the food you could cook is uh, so spicy you can just add a few uh, uh, i mean a few coriander seeds powder so it will subside the spiciness in the food uh, so that's what I did now. My gravy is uh, too spicy, so I just added a few spoon of uh, coriander seeds powder. So finally, I'm going to add uh, the coriander which I have chopped. This is my gravy if you still feel as uh, it's so spicy or you need to add a coconut then you can go you can just uh, grind some pieces of coconut and just add it and if you add coconut then you have to boil the gravy again for uh, uh, five minutes uh, then only it will get thickened thanks for watching bye bye